What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. Woo! So, in today's quick video, I'm just going to show you my comparison and give you my explanation of how uh, the HD60S Plus versus the HD60S works on a Mac and what did I experience using now using both. So, we'll start off with the HD60S, the first one. So, when I first got this capture card, this capture card was you know, really good. The Elgato Capture Game Capture HD worked great with using Mac, you know, you know, because I was that's what I was using before. Streamlabs came to Mac OS, but we'll get to that in another part of the video. But using the HD 60s with the Elgato Game Capture software, it works great. It's smooth, you know, it doesn't have work, no lag, you no know, everything else is like you know in real time. Good to go. What made it worse is once I got to Streamlabs OBS or using OBS. And using this capture card this capture card here causes you to have lag delay sometimes like when i'll be streaming streaming on twitch if you haven't followed me already link will be down in the description or right here across the stream but normally when i'll be streaming on twitch i will have like a 5 to a 15 second delay and that will i'm like that's a long time especially if you're trying to engage with your chat you know talk to your uh, your fellow followers or people that's watching you know give them they can ask you a question you could say something they wouldn't get it until 5 to 15 seconds later sometimes even 25 seconds i don't know why this capture card here elgato hd60s does give you a delay when you're using the mac os using macbook or imac but if you're using pc you can run it perfectly fine you have no problems so when I wanted to upgrade, upgrade to the Elgato HD60S Plus, that's what I did. My good friend Midnight Man kept telling me, upgrade, upgrade, you're going to love it. And yeah, so I finally did that. I upgraded, as you guys can see. I got both of them here. And now, my experience with this. It took me a while to get it all set up because using the Elgato HD60S, you, you need the OBS link and the NDI source to run Streamlabs. Run, but when you get to the HD60S Plus, so I mean back and forth names but the plus version non plus version when you get to the plus version it's mostly plug and play and this one right here elgato recommends for mac real good so i've been using this one when you first set this one up you uh i'll make another video on how to set this one up with streamlabs obs on the mac it'd be the same thing as imac but when you're using this this is plug and play but when you stream going to streamlabs if you don't have your if you don't add your um game audio as an input capture device on the, on this capture card, there will be no game audio. And I'll have a video coming out for that. But compared to this, this is just OBS link and NDI source. No OBS link, no NDI source. And if I want to compare them both, like compare them together in hand, the HDX, HD60S feels a little heavier than the HD60S Plus. In my opinion, I might just be tripping, but... Hold them both in hand. Yeah, the S feels just a little bit heavier. But you're showing a comparison. They're both the same. This is just a new and improved. So if you haven't got yourself an Elgato HD60S Plus and you're using Mac and you want to finish and, you know, stop your delays and your stream to be lagging and you know, get you the HD60S Plus, I'll leave my affiliated, affiliated link down in the description box below. But if you can't afford this one, go ahead and get you this one. This one still does the job. Just prepare for the delay or the lag. I think the price difference is only, you know, $20, $30. So if you really can, just go with this one, especially for Mac or um, MacBook, my iMac. Use this one. This one does get the job done. Now, if you just want to use the Elgato HD60 uh, uh, software, the capture card, use that. That does work, too. Especially if you don't have a powerful Mac and you know you don't have strong internet, you can use the Elgato HD60s. This runs fine. This one runs fine on um, the Elgato HD. Even though it's old, it's outdated. You can't see your chat, so you might have to get your phone or your iPad, or whatever, just to read chat. But they do both work great on the Elgato HD60 um, capture card, the game capture software. But if using OBS or Streamlabs, you would. I recommend using this. Like my good friend Midnight Man, he's made plenty of videos on it. He told me, oh, get the plus, get the plus. You'll be more, you'll love it way more. You won't have to worry about the delay and everything. Cause tell me, this gives you delay. Trust, trust and believe. Big delay, everything else. But my experience now with both of them, ever since I got this, I do like the uh, plus way more. Um, the audio is all synced up. 
Oh, yeah, that's also with this. The, with this, sometimes the audio does drop. The audio does just automatically stop working or or it won't sync up if you're trying to edit your videos. Like you might the game could be forward and the audio be or the audio be ahead of the gameplay. So you have to go back and post and try to make it all sync up. It's take too long. This all your audio right here syncs up and play. I'm also gonna put the the USB C the USB C God spin cable down in the description box below. That'll be affiliated link too. So where you can purchase either one of these you know if you want to stream um your ps4 or your xbox also i'm going to leave down if you want to stream your ipad or your iphone this is a lightning a digital av adapter this will be down in the description box below if you want to set up with and stream off your iphone and make do mobile games and if you have an iphone i a little bit can't even talk spit it out god leave <laughs> if you had i'm leaving all that in too if you have an ipad Pro or Air 2018 model or newer, and you have your iPad Pro uses USB C, you want to get the USB C digital AV adapter. You can get these from Apple, but I'm going to put my Amazon affiliated links down below. So if you use my links to purchase these or the capture card, this, the USB C guide spin cable that I have plugged up in somewhere in this gaming set system. So these are just for if you want to stream like off your iPad or your iPhone iPad, iPhone, but if your iPad has the lightning, you can just use this one. You plug the HDMI cable in, you plug your uh, charger port to keep your uh, device charged. Same with this. That being said, comparing these two, the Elgato HD60S versus uh, HD60S Plus. The Plus is the better buy using Mac. If you're using PC, either one works, but if you're on Mac like me, MacBook, iMac, get the, get the Plus if you can. If not, then get the S, but I really rec highly recommend using the S. So this is my experience from using both. I'm going um, to show you my next video coming up, how to set up and get this working with Streamlabs OBS 2020 style. And the other than that, this, that'll be the end of my last videos for 2020. We're going to 2021 with more videos, more bangers. So if you're new here, like this video, subscribe if you're new. We're on our way to 1,400 subscribers. Woo! Woo! So 2020, we're going to be hitting bigger milestones, more giveaways coming through. But other than that, if you did enjoy this video, here's my comparison between the two, HD60S, HD60S Plus. Now, I'm loving the Plus. I don't even use this no more. So, no, I'm not giving it away because I might be want to do other comparison videos coming up, maybe in 2021. Who knows? But other than that, if you did enjoy this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new, share this video around. It's your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV. Happy holidays. God bless everybody. And if you're watching this in New Year's, happy New Year. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.